Hey, what's up, TikTok? So, um, so I gotta say, I, I usually don't do this whole entire TikTok story thing, but there's something going on here in Philadelphia. And this isn't like trying to uh, fear monger anybody, whatever the case may be. What's real is what's real. As a resident in Philadelphia um, and a, a Philly native, I currently live here. I work all the way in New Jersey. Something ain't, ain't right. Um, I'm a military veteran. I know about schemes and I know about um, covert operations, um, something ain't right. And um, there was four incidents that has happened here in Philadelphia within a six month period, within six months. And I'm only saying this because I'm a witness to every single last incident besides one. And that was the first one. I wasn't here in the country. I was in the Dominican Republic. I actually do a lot of scuba diving. I'm a certified advanced adventure uh, scuba diver underneath um, underneath SSI, um, the SSI organization. So um, so I get out a lot in regards to my scuba diving and it's in regards to like traveling, things of that nature. However, I live within a five mile radius of everything that has been occurring in the city of Philadelphia. It has been um, catastrophic. And that has been a, um, a major, major incident as of today. Well, not as of today, but today is the third and fourth incident that has happened here in Philadelphia. And I'm going to cover this in chronological order. Now, the first one, the first one, I was not here. I was, I was out of the country. I was in the Dominican Republic. Um, and the first one was there was a chemical um, spill maybe, like I said, within four to five mile radius of my residence um, up, at state, up at State Road and it, it happened at a water treatment facility. I don't know what the chemical was, but it got into the water line, you know, got into the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the water treatment facility and it got into our water, our, our drinking supply. We weren't able to drink water. People, people was panicking. You know, people was grabbing water from anywhere um, in, the, in, in the stores. Um, and uh, and I, I was out of the state at the time. Uh, shower water, you you know that was you couldn't be able to utilize that. So um, I think people weren't able to utilize water for the for like three days, three or four days, maybe four days tops. Um, so like I said, I was on vacation. The second incident, of course, was everybody knows about. It's recently happened. Was the Canadian fire <laughs> it came all we from Canada all the way down to the to the East Coast. It hit majority of the uh, of the states. It hit New York City, hit Philly. I'm not sure if it had hit um, Delaware. It hit certain, it definitely hit hit uh, uh, certain parts of so uh, South Jersey as well too. Actually, all of South Jersey. Um, and uh, the third incident was today, as long as well as the fourth one. The third incident happened, um, like I said, today is 6 11 2023. Um, it happened early this morning, where a tanker had exploded underneath an underpass off of exit 30 um, um, and it had it had uh, caused the uh, the overpass of exit 30 to collapse the reason why I'm covering that specific one not specific one but um, I'm, I'm talking about all of these is like I said it happened all within a five mile radius of my residence of where I currently live um, I live in the northeast part of Philadelphia literally within walking distance of exit 30 I take exit 30 every single day Going to work, I work all the way up, all the way up in North New Jersey. I take an hour and fifteen minute commute there, an hour fifteen minute commute back. It's a total of two and a half hours. I also take my daughter all the way down to Center City, Philadelphia, using um, um, I seventy uh, I ninety five I ninety five South, and then I have to come all the way back up to I ninety five North to get to work. Since the bridge had collapsed, or the overpass had collapsed. There's no way of getting in and out of Philadelphia um, through uh, as far as a major highway. There's no traffic flow that can constantly keep going to to New York City or any parts up up north. There's no major way. There's no major way of New Yorkers and or New Jer uh, North New Jersey um, residents to get qu uh, quickly to Philadelphia um, using I-70, uh, I-95 uh, South. So. Um, that's the third inc incident that has happened. Um, um, I left out earlier this morning around four. I actually got up at four and I left out at 410. I posted up a story at, on my Instagram, single dad underscore E, again, a single dad underscore E 
on my Instagram story around 419. And that was me just leaving the exit um, and going up to work. So, uh, so I don't know the precise time when the explosion happened. Um, I'm still trying to do some digging online, trying to do some digging on what's going on. Um, after the incident, there was any type of fatalities, any type of in, um, uh, um, injured personnel, pedestrians, cars that had got damaged or whatever case may be, or uh, fell off of the under overpass after the explosion. Um, however, uh, I lost my damn train of thought, but like it's a whole bunch of different things that's going on. The fourth incident, that's what it is. The fourth incident, a lot of people don't notice as of yet, but approximately 8,500 gallons, that's 8,500 gallons of fuel had leaked into the Delaware again. Now, they said that our drinking water would not be um, would not be affected. However, I don't know what's what's further downstream because upstream, like I said, within a five mile radius is a water treatment facility. I don't I forgot what it's called, but it's like next to the prisons. Um, so most of our water come for that water treatment facility. So technically speaking, our water, our drinking supply should not be affected. But I don't know if I don't know of any water treatment facilities on that on that end you know um further down the delaware all i know is that the major thing that's further down the delaware or off of the delaware is when you go further down maybe approximately um uh you got a school right next to the the Taconi palmyra bridge and then you have um once you go further down delaware you have the casinos you have um well you have the casino you have uh, uh dave and busters you got the ben franklin bridge Further down, you have um, you got like Walmart, you got the IKEAs down there, and then you have the um, the shipyard. You got the shipyard where most of our supplies come in, not the naval one, but you got the the shipyard, and then you have the naval shipyard further down, um, going towards like Delaware Ave, Columbus Boulevard area. Um, the thing is that, like I said, like being in the military, working in reconnaissance. Uh, um, well, having a background in reconnaissance, having a background in civil affairs, where you um, where you learn about the infrastructure, who is affected in the in, in, in the in all the pillars of infrastructure, um, and something ain't right with all of this going on. Something is not right. I know I'm sweating and anything like that. It's hot as hell. I need to turn the air conditioner on, but it is kind of loud, and I don't want to affect that affect my audio. Um, but like I said, guys, like um, residents in Philadelphia, residents in New York prepare yourselves for what is going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen, but these are kind of like incidents that's showing you that you need to prepare for uh, lack of water, lack of food, um, lack of any type of supplies that you need. Um, get ammo to protect yourselves. Stock up on any and every single last bit of supplies that you can need for a total of a week or two. Um, because something's coming I mean, it's already here, and they're showing you what's happening. Um, I know I'm doing a lot of ums, but this is so surreal right now. And as a veteran and a person who is always prepared, it shows you every single thing. They're showing you every single thing that's happening. I don't know if this is conspiracy or whatever case may be. This is really kind of a conspiracy, and this is really kind of my opinion, too, that, that things are happening. But it's kind of it's all over the place. It's on the media. You see it with your own two eyes. You 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 uh you're dealing with it with your senses, you know, with your throat. I say your throat with your with um with your scent, your your taste, your you know everything. So um, so yeah, just prepare for what's going on, what's going to ultimately happen. Um, but just I, I would suggest just suggest to pack a a, a ready go bag, and that's a bag in your back. That's a that's a regular backpack in your car filled with water, filled with um, canned foods and or packaged foods. So that way, if anything does occur or you need to get in your car and go with your kids or family members or whatever case may be, you already got it. You're not even thinking about it because it's already there in your car. I always have a ready go bag in my car. So y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. God bless you guys.